Oh god. He ain't ready. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. This sounds so good. This is super New York, bro. Oh my god. Like I said, whatever you want about Kanye. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 But you cannot say this man doesn't know how to produce. <laughs> Let's not discredit Nas. Oh. He is delivering every track. <laughs> oh my god. There is no sleeping in his bars. No. That's, that's the best song I've heard this year. Uh, we're Jungle Beats. We're Jungle Beats. Starting this video off the most normal way possible today because... <laughs> because, um, because that's how we are. <laughs> Sheesh! Uh, who's Jungle Beats? Jungle Beats is Australia's plug to the weirdest, worst and best dancers in the country. Holiest socks, plungiest plungers, grungiest... Grungers. I was going to go with top hats, but... Oh. Also, your comment, the 69 dolphins and the hippopotamus? Fire, bro. Fire. We're here to review NASA... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Sorry. My name is uh, Professor Plum, and this is my homie. Alexander Sandalis. We're here today to review NASA's new album. Nasir. Nasir. Sorry. Correctness. Uh, solely produced by the homie Yeezy himself. This man's dropping out with left, right, hand, center. It's really great. I really like it. One week after the other. It's great. Loving it. Um, so far, his production's been stellar, and I can't wait to hear this. Yep. Daytona and Kids Ghost both blew me away. Yee, not so much, but I see the Who? appeal. Are you Big Quinn? Yee! Man, the man's just, the man's a, the man's inspiring, and he's with hot new hip hop now. He's getting that he's getting that mood. Good on him. Good on him, man. So, uh, yeah, we're excited to what we're gonna hear here. Uh, despite the first feature on this track, but you know, maybe we'll like it. Because if you've watched our previous reviews, we weren't too big on 070 shakes. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see. We'll see how we go. First track is called "Not for Radio." Escobar season begins. This is what we heard. This is what we heard. <laughs> and then the f and then it, wait. Wait, and then and, and then. No, 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 it's just before that. Yeah. Just it buffers then. Hasn't dropped an album in five years. start the album. Bro, I was going to use the exact same word. It has that, it has that appeal of like being in front of like going to like a real, real royal wedding or being like in Lord of the Rings in like a giant battle. Like it just, it just screams royalty. Royalty. It's like grandness. similar to like Lord Knows or like, um, like that sort of those yeah. big choir pitching yeah. like vocals. Oh. Almost the grandness of what made Dark Fantasy was so great was uh, in elements of that track right there. Mm, and I'm, and one thing good about Nas is the way he pronounces things and the way that he flows. Like, you can really hear everything he's saying. Like, like of course, I'm going to miss things because it's just how I am. But, like, the way that he raps, like, you can... If you love listening to music, then you, you can hear every single word that he's speaking and just really just envisioning and picturing everything he says. Like, he's always been really good at that and why he's been so timeless over the years. So, a really strong way to start the album. I didn't mind 07 Shakes there, but still probably the weakest part of that song to me. You know, it showed me that 07 Shakes... Uh has diversity every which is daytona yay here a uh, kid so he goes she's had a diverse uh co collection of um delivery and sounds like she hasn't sounded the same on, yeah. on any of the tracks i realized that too because i actually checked out some of her solo work to see if i could understand it behind her and i didn't really like any of her solo work but she's very different right on all of it and she's gonna go she's gonna go far with that just off the uniqueness i think uh, you have potential there's potential i agree there's potential 
But I just correct myself. It's not guaranteed we'll, you'll yeah, go far. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But very impressed with that first track. The production and Nas, definitely the standout to me. And Puff was on that last outro. So it was Puff, yeah. And he did pick up there. You know what? Uh, again, Nas enunciating himself so well. And the cadence to which he flowed on that track was stellar. I got mm. no qualms with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Let's keep it rolling. Cop shot the kid. This is a fucking Swiss Beats type shit. I gotta see who produced it. It sounds like Swiss Beats. Okay. Okay. Oh, so good. Such a dope instrumental, man. You hear the, the low voices over the top of it. Oh, give me more. That, oh. that, that in the oh. last four albums, the fourth album now, that's got to be one of the most eclectic, like really just cool produ uh, oh. productions right there, or instrumentals. I fucking love it. <clears throat> As I said, it sounded like a very Swiss Beats inspired production because if Kanye did produce this whole album, it wouldn't surprise me if Swizz jumped in the studio and was like, let me, let me hand up with this. But uh, I love it. The, the cop shot the kids. That's with a, the... It's a sample taken from one of Slick Rick's songs, Children's Story, for the people out there. Anyway, go on. Uh, um, but yeah, just like the, the, the pitching of the lower pitching, like underneath it, throughout the way, it gives it this real demonic presence with the screaming on top of it. It yeah. really demonstrates the the violence and some of the, the communities and the shit people have to grow around. And just uh, a really powerful track with a real heavy hitting production. Great verse from Nas, amazing verse from Yeezy. And instead of, it's funny, on Kids See Ghost, we got Kanye rapping, like, but this was more his sort of like his sing rapping, you know what I mean? Like his sort of similar, like sort of his, was it Graduation or Yeezus? Like, like there was a certain album, I can't remember which one, but the way that he rapped on that was similar to the way that he's rapped before, so. Like, he's demonstrating on all of the albums that he's been on. Different. Different types of different. rapping. Like, on Ye, we got him. Then, like, you know, like, it's it's a it's a very good track. To, to mention one of the lines, I really love the, the verse by Ye, who's really touching on the uh, social political issues that we've we gone through, America mm. is. Tell me who doing... Tell me who do we call to report the crime if 9-11 doing the drive-by. Obviously, yeah. uh, a reference to police brutality and police killing uh, people. Right? Mm. I just think that's a really super dope line. It's a real dope line. And it's such a, a sharp difference to the first track we heard too, but it works so well. Like, that's one thing I love about Kanye and also with Nas working on this is like, normally I feel like two tracks like that wouldn't blend well together, but they make it work so, so flawlessly. It's a dope track. And Andrew Dawson um, is on this with Kanye producing it as mm. well. All right, let's keep this fucking Ooh. nice album going. White Label. <laughs> Oh, oh do you hear that? That's like cruel summer shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, same voice. 
You can say whatever you want about Kanye, but you cannot say this man doesn't know how to produce. You cannot say he's lost it with his production. You just can't. Oh, that gave me the games we play sort of feels. Like just the way it hit me. Come on, bro. Oh. He's doing it for the kids. Bro. I want to see how he creates this. I want to see him on the board. I want to see him ba 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 ba. Give me a behind the scenes. But this one actually isn't that. This complex. Like it's got the the keys and it's got the sample Trump or the sample. No, no, I want to um, see it from which is zero. I just want to see how he fucking formulates this this beautiful. Just mm. that's. I don't know if that's the best track for me, but production wise, that track fucking knocked me off my fucking chair. Like that was Literally. like that was like here in the games we played by Pusha all over again. The way that like that sort of production by Kanye just really fucking hits you. Like I was tearing up halfway through there because huh. how fucking beautiful that shit right. was. Right. And I and I didn't even get a chance to hear whatever the fuck they were talking about. That's the thing, I was right? Because the production is so great. Oh. Just the trumpets, the da -da 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 -da, and then the fucking, the fucking, um, the sample of those voices in the back as well. The da -da, that is a fucking amazing track. Holy shit. It's like this album just keeps getting better. And once again, three very different, actually this, this very probably, it probably simulates more of the first track production wise, but still very, very different. Like, I'm excited for the next four tracks. These first three tracks are fucking just so fucking dope. And Nas, don't let's not discredit Nas. Oh. He is delivering every track. Yeah. There is no sleeping in his bars. No, nah, man. It's like the five years after life is good. Like he hasn't lost a fucking touch, man. All right. Mm. Bonjour. A street metaphor of your dog Piss on the floor, put his nose in it Check these niggas from the door Who's that? I think it's uh, Tony Williams, it looks like Oh uh, He had selective kitchens Speak on our next intentions Oh, she didn't see me coming Now she's an eyewitness Let's say Le Bon Tour Roulet Say ah, so the kids can play All this money we get it it's motherfucking easy season. Holy shit. <laughs> <sighs> Yeezy's going down. I mean, it was always it was already confirmed he's going down as one of the greats, but just listen to Daytona and Kids See Ghost, and now just four tracks into this, it just made me just really just fucking realize just how fucking important this man is to hip hop. He's just solidifying his place. He one album at a time. Fuck me, man. Just oh, you go. Yeah, well, well, actually, for me, this so far has been my least favorite track, and that's not to take away from the whole album or, or this track individually. It's I think I enjoyed it as a track. It just um, you know, we're simmering down a little bit. It didn't hit me as hard emotionally and physically as the other tracks. Man, it hit me just as hard. Like the production was so beautiful. Like. The layered heavy fucking snares all at the same time with the light choir on top with the tambourine with the fucking the bass lay behind as well like it was just such a well fucking crafted track bonjour oh and just oh who was the guy on the hook tony the williams bridge? tony He's williams the did his fucking one. thing he was amazing on there he didn't try to overdo anything they didn't try and raise his voice too much they just kept it lightly with the drum still empowering it it was it was such a beautiful track that is fucking amazing Let's keep this uh, train rolling. Woo woo! See, I'm yeah. never comfortable oh. with anyone else. This is a big Don't think the same as everyone. Yeah. I had everything. Oh, damn. Beautiful. Everything. I could change anything. It's a lost in the woods type shit. In the world. If I changed anything. Learn a love in stars and all. Dark boy, don't you die. They're just human, let them lie. Just know your world and speak your truth. Let them come to you for your love. Oh. What a fucking trick. I had everything. Oh. Everything. I can change anything. I can change anything. The media slates mud. We use it to build huts. Irrefutable facts. Merciful, beautiful. Fall for that. We want freedom. I'm a scholar and all of that. People do 
do anything to be involved in everything. Inclusion is a hell of a drug. Got everything. Got everything. I can change anything. A parent has to watch his baby's face. Taking his first immunization shots. But this is great. The child's introduction is suffering and pain. Understands without words. Nothing is explained. But you will protect me from the scary place. Why'd you let them inject me? Who's gonna know how the side effects is gonna affect me? Who knew I would grow to be presidents that respect me? Yellow taxi seats over Maybach seats Just to remind me, just to inspire me To stay focused, it's a real sick society That's the best song I've heard this year. What are we gonna say to that, bro? Oh. What the fuck are we gonna say to that, man? <laughs> like, we, uh, come on, bro. And you gave us three verses as well. Oh, I, th I don't even know oh. where to begin. I need a fucking time fucking out. Nah, I don't even want to do that. I gotta wipe myself up. That is the best song I've heard this year. No doubt. Uh, Kanye and The Dream, I'm assuming was in production as well, because The Dream is as amazing a producer as he's an artist. He's done more producing than as an artist. That track in itself was amazing with Kanye's singing sounded so good on there. The dream singing sounded amazing on there. Them together. Oh my it was such God. a beautiful duet. Oh. And Kanye's delivery, I haven't heard him sing that. I don't... Ever. Ever. I don't even want to go that far because I'm like, am I forgetting something? I've never heard him sing that good, ever. He's always said, in interviews he said, I've never been a good singer, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. he, I don't know what's happening, but he's getting better. He's been practicing, man. He's, something's happening. Anything you do gets better with practice. He's getting more confident, practicing, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and just like the production with the big, heavy, like... Uh, like those drums are just echoed, and then the like the light chimes in the background behind like, and the, the, and the choir well. just lifting oh, it up. Oh, bruh! And then Nas's verses were all so fucking deep. I mean, I, I didn't really pay too much attention to it because I was just so emotional at the time. But I'm assuming each verse had its own sort of pivotal discussion in there. Like it yeah, definitely he, did. And there's one line that they're gonna mention, and I know what line it is. It's the anti-vaccination line, or it's just the vaccination line. Yeah. Um. A parent's hate to watch his baby's face taking his first immunization shots, but this is great. The child's introduction to suffering and pain understands without words, nothing is explained or rushed to the brain. Looking up at his parent's face like, I thought you would protect me from this scary place. Why'd you let them inject me? Who's going to know how these side effects is going to affect me? So he's obviously, like, it's a, it's a valid question. Like, yeah, it's, it's like a micro trauma as a child getting, like, tra uh, mm. That, getting that. There was a line I heard that I didn't get though. There was a line about him like going to the restroom because he didn't have an espresso or something. In 2018, a Starbucks employee called the police after two black men asked to use the bathroom without purchasing anything, but then refused to leave the store because they were waiting for a meeting. This led to Starbucks changing its policy. Nas jokes that perhaps as a result of the president's recent moves with Netflix and, a, and Starbucks racist treatment that the former might buy you the latter. See, even lines like that, which I don't understand, there's such a big grounder meaning behind it. <laughs> and there's like, how many bars are there in this track? Oh my god. That's, a, that's an amazing track, right? Really. Like, we're gonna have to listen to that about a hundred more times. Great fucking job. And we had, we had guys like Plain Pat on that, we had guys like Mike Dean producing that, Benny yeah. Blanco, Cashmere Cat. The production was beautiful, the mastering was amazing, and I'm gonna have to go back to that to catch everything that else was saying. Because as, as I said, I caught one line, which then I just found out then, I was like, what other lines are just all going to be like that? Oh, bruh. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. Ugh. Adam and Eve. Oh. oh, God. He ain't ready. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. This sounds so good. It's super New York, bro. Oh, my God. It's... Oh! Oh! oh. oh. 
Hey man, pasta's fire! <laughs> it's jam. Is it Tyler Craig came in here with his low voice? Yeah, uh, I'm a goblin. What the fuck is when you don't know I'm from Ra? So that, that beautiful track sampled Korosh Yagame's 1974 track Gol E Yak. How the fuck does he find? I don't know, bro. I pronounce that. I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. Does he just listen to random shit? Is he just on YouTube? Because that's what I do. I just go on YouTube and I'm like, oh, this sample sounds dope. I'll take this. Like, what the fuck do they do? Man. The ghosts of gangsters dance chinchillas shake on the hanger. The force of this banger. Oh. Come on, bro. There was another one I heard in there as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a roof. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's not slipping. Oh, man. Every track is strong. The production on this, again, stellar. The piano hits you in the in your soul. He even gave us three verses. I want a fourth verse. You wanted a yay verse. Oh, that's just... Oh, wait, that's the wrong song. I had a real distinct, like, uh, Queens. And I've never been to Queens, but I feel like this is something you'd hear in Queens, New York. Obviously, where it comes from. If anyone's from Queens, let me know. Mm. I'm ignorant. I haven't been. With grey hair and still mugging, grey hair's a wisdom that means you've seen something, say something, you, st you stay front, but this clown's got false crowns, fictional kings, you broke my heart, Fredo. Oh, because Fredo Santana. Is it, Wait, is it someone else? He's referencing The Godfather 2. This oh, is the Godfather long too. fucking annotation. I'm not even going to go here. Like, it's like just when I hear a song and I'm like, nothing, like I'm just like, I've been blown away by pretty much near every track on this album. And I'm just like, the next track can't be, can't blow me away again. I can't be, normally on albums. <laughs> Not again. Normally on albums, you get blown away by one to two to three tracks and the rest are like, good. I think what Kanye needs to do is just dedicate his life to producing everyone's albums. And having the odd feature. <laughs> I'm down with that. I think that's a reasonable expectation. If Not it really. ends up like this, god damn it. Those keys with the, with the guitar, the acoustic guitar in the background, the sampling, the bass, everything throughout there. Like, it's now. funny, like a lot of these... A lot of these beats are actually quite, they're not, they're not overdone. They're quite simple in many ways. Like the layering is like only a touch. It's not too much. And it's just the but right amount. But it's the way they're crafted. Yeah, it's the way they're doing the it. The touch that Kanye puts on them. Yeah, and, and his collaborators, of 100%. course. He's worked with many people. Oh, man. We've got one more. Are you ready? He's not ready. I'm not ready. I'm just loving how there's been less features on this. I love how it's purely pretty much strictly Nas. Nas is dominating the album. But there are features. It's Kanye, the Shakespeare, but he's he's dominating the verses. Yes, he's driving this album. I fuck with that man. Last track, simple things. It sounds like a closer track already. It does, yeah. It's like classic. It's how Kanye likes to close it out. I love the past, but see where I'm going. I get the fly. Never sold a record for the beat. It's my verses they purchase. Without production, I'm worthless. But I'm more than the surface. Yeah. That's it. Yes. It's a good closer. It's a nice closer. It's, it's not wowing us, but it's not. I don't think it's no, meant to. I think it's good how it doesn't wow. I've honestly been wowed so much that I felt like my brain, my fucking everything needed just a break from just being fucking so shook. But fuck, man. I actually love how that closer wasn't too overdone. It yep. was nice, really closing out well. Yep. The instrument was really Simple. beautiful. I, I fuck with that. And I'm wowed, man. I'm fucking wild. Honestly, I'm sitting here going, fuck, I thought Kids See Ghosts was one of the best things I heard this year. Now I'm just like, 
do I like this more than Kids See Ghosts? I don't know. I'll give it more listens. It's a fucking amazing body of work. 100%. I mean, I, I came in expecting to like it. I didn't expect, I didn't come in, because obviously Kid Cudi Kanye West, Kid Cudi is my favorite artist, so I'm going to be like expecting grand or things. But coming to this, I'm like, Nas hasn't had an album out for five years. I've heard random features for him. He hasn't sounded amazing. Yeezy's Yay was okay. So I came in here being like, oh, maybe this is going to be like another Yay or something like that. But nah, man. But th- people are going to be talking oh. about this as a potential classic in the future. I already know. 100%. I already this know. Is, this is definitely going to be obvious. a potential classic. In fact, I reckon this year in general for Yay is going to be talked about for fucking Can I years. break it down for you? You know, yeah, yeah. you know, we fucking halfway through the year, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know, man. You know how many great albums have already dropped? We were fucking. Hu- well, we weren't sure in the first couple of months. Like, my oh, top tens already fucking hard, bro. <laughs> Fuck my top tracks because we're gonna be doing a top tracks this year as well for the first time. So. For me, this album, oh. look, I don't have that connection to Nas as many others. I didn't start listening to him young, you know. I haven't listened to his discography like maybe you or some other people have, right? Uh, I was, I was... It's the same, man. I didn't get onto Nas until I was probably 21. Okay. Oh, okay. And so when I was 21, because obviously a lot of people kept telling me to listen to Nas at the last. And then I think I, the first thing I listened from Nas was, was Illmatic, because Life is Good came out. And I liked one of the singles. Oh, no, sorry. I, I, sorry, I fucked up. I listened to the first when he released um, Hip Hop is Dead. But I didn't really like the album. And then there was um, his Untitled album, which I listened to as well. And I, I thought it was okay as well. So I listened to him when I wasn't really into it. But then when Life is Good came out, I liked the singles, went back to the classics, which I hadn't listened to. And I was like, Illmatic is fucking a classic. Illmatic is one of my top albums of all time. It's fucking amazing because you listened to it before. Uh, then Stillmatic, I really liked as well. God, Sun was dope. So basically when I started listening to him, all the albums that missed for me. So it took a great album in Life is Good for me to go back and be like, holy shit, this guy is fucking awesome. Okay. So I didn't really get onto him until I was in my early 20s. Now, I finished what I was saying. <laughs> All I wanted to say is that um, I, never got to, I never really got to that point yeah. of listening to all those albums properly. So I'm not going to connect with it like some of you guys were. So it may not end up as high as my top 10. But I really love this album. It connected with me still. It's passionate. His bars are incredible. The mm. production melds so well with, with, with Kanye and, and, and mm. Nas. Features are great. I don't see many problems in this man at all. I don't, the only problem that I had was probably 070 Shakes part. I mean, I, I don't, like I said, I it's don't It's so minimal, it. like you can get over it. Exactly. It's so minimal I can get over it, but I would have replaced it with something else. I'm sorry for those who are like, man, why are you going to hate on Shakes? Because I just, I just don't see what others see. I see the, the versatility, but like, I don't know. Uh, and the themes, we, we, um, we know we're not going to get really the lyrically, but no. I was trying to listen a lot and the themes they're exploring, he's exploring a cohesive, uh, critical, and it's significant to the last five years of what's been happening in the yeah. world. And I like that. And before we ended as well, uh, a lot of people have been asking like, are you going to be doing this album because of what's happened with Khalees? Do you remember when I told you about the allegations Khalees Club about a month or two ago? <sighs> Fuck. Do you remember when I told you that? Yeah. So obviously they've really come know. for, and everyone's saying, everyone's, because obviously when this album's come out, people are raising their own articles being like, this is what's happened. Why would you listen to this? You know, you're going you're gonna to have to mention, because you were very, you were very, you felt very strongly about this. I didn't feel as strong as you about it. Yeah, so you're going to yeah. have to cu- put something in there and explain why you and we are reviewing this now and why that's not a well, problem. Well, I can kind of say it now in a way. So the, Kelis, if you haven't, if you haven't read it, go ahead and read what she came, like she came out, I think nine years after all this stuff happened. And it's, it's. It's pretty bad. Like, it was pretty abusive. But I think at first she said that she, she, when she was young, she just sort of got it and it got to a stage where she sort of clicked and sort of sobered up and realized, fuck. Because obviously when she got pregnant, she had to change her lifestyle up and that's when she started to realize a lot of things. So, I don't know. I've, I've told myself until Nas, Nas speaks on it and until it's tackled further. Has Nas been convicted? No, he hasn't been convicted at all. Has, he, has, he, has, he been, has she um, tried to sue him? Has she tried no, to take him to court? I don't think she has. So, I, I think she might plan to soon because she's now she's come forward. I don't know. If, I don't there know if any she other reports of other people confirming this besides her? No. Are we that's, sure? That, I'm pretty sure, yeah. That, that's why I haven't gone too much further. I've read what Kalisa said on it and it's pretty... It's not as fucked up as stuff like XXX. It's nowhere near as fucked up as that. Like, I feel like... Okay. All I, I know is that... Until further allegations come forward, until Nas says his side on things, okay. then I'm not gonna hold I'm not gonna hold someone's side. Like sure it's fucked up what she's saying, but until more information comes out and more things folds for and fuck, we might not even know the full story because hey, it's the media, but 
At the moment, I'm going to enjoy this album and love this album, but if more shit comes forward, then we'll decide what to do further on from there. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, fucking amazing album. We're Jungle Beats. Holy shit. Holy shit is the right answer, man. Like, he's even confirmed, like, you've seen interviews with X, right? With him being 